was a discussion a little ways ago about uh, the shot shell, the shotgun shell magazine ammo holder that hold like eight shotgun shells, and like you can kind of like wear it at your hip or like on a molly vest or something. But there was a lot of concerns about people who had used ones like in the past how it had either failed in terms of build quality or it made too much noise and whatnot. So I talked to Jack and they were able to send me one uh, to sort of do a quick video about and see if it's something worth getting. Uh, it also came with, which I'm super happy, it came with a little badge, you know, Jag and all that, but then it also came with really detailed uh, mod like patch models of their shotguns, which I am such a sucker for. Like, I kind of hope that there's one for each model. Um, like, it, it, I just, I just love that. <laughs> Don't have anything to do with the review, but I just love stuff like that. So, on um, inside here, you see we've got the little, like, spring load. Seems to be a little stuck, but maybe it's just the way it's pushing on it. But, you know, you push it down like a magazine and load the shells. On the back, we've got the molly, uh, attachments. We've got holes here, so maybe you can even, like... I don't know, maybe put screws on the other side and like bolt it to something. I don't know, like a bottom barrel or something. I'm not sure. These guys kind of slide off and then it comes off. And then you can just slide it onto whatever you're trying to attach. Um, build wise, these worry me a little. Let's see, just because one, they're not like they fit in a little bit, but they're not really designed to bend, you know, because it's plastic. So. It feels like the kind of thing that if you get stuck on like a tree or a branch or someone else, you know, and you kind of yank on it, like it might snap right off. It feels okay built, like it's not holding weight, so I don't know. And I mean, I guess you can just unscrew them and put other ones on, so it's not the end of the world if they get broken. Um, otherwise, you've got little things here. I guess if something gets jammed or, you know, stuck in there, you can pop it off and, you know, get at it. When uh, Jag contact, contacted me, they had said there's two things you need to worry about in terms of packing shells into the holder. One, uh, make sure the loading knob is either, you know, the shells either full of BBs, like so, or if for whatever reason you were storing an empty shell, make sure the loading knob is pushed in until you hear the click and it's locked in. Otherwise, the little bit of extra, like, nub pump popping out will get stuck or not fit or it'll get like kind of jammed in the holder either way it's not good other option is uh, other thing is that when you're loading make sure you alternate the way it's facing so that you know one shell in this way that way and keep doing it um apparently that'll jam it as well i think it has something to do with the fact that if you have all the shells facing this way eventually like the little springboard gets at a bit of an angle and will push sort of oddly against one side, and then it won't feed properly up. Um, either way, it's not particularly difficult to do. I mean, it's odd, and I wish it came with some sort of little... And maybe mine's a review copy, so maybe the other ones won't, will come with something, but I wish it was a small paper, like documentation, you know, showing that, because it's very easy for someone to not think about something like that and put them in, you know, just by themselves and, you know, very easily, you know, jam it up. On the plus side, as I mentioned before, there are little tabs on the side that, with like a little flathead screwdriver or even your nail, you can kind of easily pop it open and get access to the inside, which I think is literally just the two springs and this guy. So you could easily get the shells out like, and, un and unjam it without having to, you know, send it in to be fixed or whatever. But to load it, just take it, put it at the top till it's kind of sitting on that, and then just kind of click it in. When you do it, make sure to do the whole hand like that. Otherwise, there's a tendency to kind of pop in by itself. And it's funny because it looks like it actually holds like 10, but the spring probably can't push it back because even now it's got a little bit difficulty doing that. Um, it's fairly heavy, which I guess is expected. You've got eight shells plus BBs, you know, in there. Um, but there's no noise. Like the only noise I hear is from the BBs and the shells themselves rattling, rattling around. And that's mainly because 
I haven't had these. I don't have these fully loaded. Um, otherwise, though, no real issue with that. Uh, taking them out's easy. They do just kind of pop out. As you see, it doesn't push it all the way up until you get like the second one out, and then it actually kind of starts working. So I guess you could argue about only loading like seven shells in, maybe to put less of a strain on the spring. And as you saw, these last two, like, not being pushed fully forward. Not because the spring's not strong enough, but because the spring stops right here. So it doesn't push all the way up. But it doesn't seem to be difficult to pop them out. You know, you just gotta kind of be aware that you have to reach down a little bit. Overall, I like it. You know, I think the build quality is pretty good considering the price that you're getting. You know, it's yeah, it's plastic. Yeah, this is a little bit, you know, kind of iffy. Especially if it like it's attached to you and like you know you turn and snag it on something, but I don't think it's that bad. And again, you can unscrew them, and then I'm probably sure get like replacement pieces for them, you know. And these things, you know, they're hard enough to get off that I don't see them like kind of falling off, you know, in play. Like it'd be very odd. Um, the spring works, you know. It's not. You know, a high tension ultra spring that's gonna send them, you know, snapping to the top. But then again, you're not, you know, loading every shot. You know, it's every ten shots, or if you do the six, it's every five shots. Um, so I think it does what it needs to do. Again, for like thirty dollars, I think the price is. I think it's good. You know, uh, it's a little bulky. I think the best place to have this would be on your belt. You know. Um, or if you can, even like on a thigh holster of sorts somehow. I don't know if you'd be able to get, maybe get like a small belt around the thigh. Because then it's easy to grab and it's kind of out of the way. But you could also put it on a molly vest. You know, it's a little bulky, but I mean, people put worse on there. Um, I wish it had documentation that came with it. That's been a bit of a complaint at least so far that when I first got the TSS scattergun, I had no real documentation with it. I had to look stuff up and make stuff, and that's half the reason I started the group, was because there wasn't as much documentation, and I think that's still kind of the issue, especially when it comes to, like, the way you have to load the shells. Somebody could very easily um, put them in incorrectly and have no idea, you know. There's, there's nothing on the box that indicates it except for this guy. You know, alternate direction of shells when loading. Which doesn't make much sense, but I guess it's there. But who knows? I have, you know, a display copy. Maybe the ones that are sent out have something with that. You know, or maybe Jaguar released like little video clips and stuff on how to do it. 